Divorce. A legal dissolution of a marriage by court or other competent body. What's up, you guys? Thanks for joining us here right on Films. Welcome to Speaks. So today we're going to discuss divorce. Did you guys know that every 13 seconds there's one divorce in America, which equates to 277 divorces per hour, 6,646 divorces per day, 46,523 divorces per week, and 2,419,196 divorces per year? Wow. Over yes. 2 million Over two divorces. Million per year mm -hmm. that is insane i can only imagine how many people get married in a year yeah you know that's crazy also get this there are nine divorces in the time it takes for a couple to recite their wedding vows which is only two minutes <laughs> yes you know that that i mean i don't mean to laugh at that but that is that's insane knowing that information mm -hmm. right does that hinder your desire uh to want to get married no, not at all. Um, I think it's really just about the fight for the marriage, you know what I mean? If you really love the person and you want to be with them, you got to fight for it. You know, you can't just throw it away over something. I mean, who knows? It could be something small or big, but I just think you have to fight for it, you know? But right, right, exactly. That's I wholeheartedly believe in love, no matter how much I've seen. Have you ever wanted to, I mean, had the feeling that you wanted to get divorced? Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, of course. I think everyone, every marriage does but me in particular yeah absolutely absolutely because it definitely gets hard right you yeah know? I'm definitely sure about that um what about like what was the reason for you feeling that way uh, some of the reasons I mean shoot just not try to get like too personal into it uh, just lack of communication mm -hmm. you know what I mean um, just being dishonest really not not really like when I say dishonest I mean um, like it could be like small things, you know what I mean? Right. Like she can, she can be like, "Are you okay? Are you mad or something?" And I'm like, "Yeah, I'm fine." But really, like, I'm really upset. You right. know what I mean? Just like really, just petty, like just BS, like little kid stuff. Oh, another thing is pride. Pride comes big into this, man. If you're wrong, you're wrong. You know what I mean? People, people get divorced because of pride, man. Yeah. I think I, you know, people's egos nowadays are huge. You know, no, I deserve better. I'm better than this. You know, you know, this is not what I signed up for. You know what I mean? Like it's supposed to be roses. They didn't show this in the movies. You know what I mean? Oh, like, <laughs> you know, if I'm a bird, you're a bird. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> right? Exactly. What is no, this? It's no, it's not. Sparks. It's not like that. You know, it's definitely not like that. Again, lack of communication, I think, is was the big, big thing because I mean, if we really didn't communicate like we do now, mm -hmm. it's great. But back then, you know. We just weren't honest. Uh, that falls into being, you know, um, to communicate. Yeah, I was gonna say that can probably just go hand in hand, like exactly. you said. If she asked you how you're doing and you said you're fine, but you're not, you're lying, and also right. you're not communicating about your feelings. Exactly. So I think that could definitely be a big strain on a marriage for right. sure. Exactly. What do you think? Or most people, in in, in your perspective, get um, I don't know. I would think I would have to say infidelity. I feel like a lot of people are just very mm -hmm. unfaithful to their right. significant other, right. you know, and it's hard to, and also once that happens, I feel like you lose trust, Oh yeah, and definitely. all trust, right. you know what I'm saying, right. and that's just so hard to even get that back, because right. I don't know if, you know, your husband is at work and you're thinking, is he really at work, or is he doing something else, you right. know what I mean, like you're constantly going to be thinking that in the back yeah. of your head. Yeah, I think at, right after that, right. A definitely. after the, right. the treatment, definitely. right, definitely. right, definitely. yeah. Do you have any experiences? I mean, obviously, you had some experiences. When mom, when mom and pop, <laughs> right? Yeah, our parents actually got yeah, divorced. Yeah, our parents got divorced back so, in 2004. Like, yeah. So I was 11. I'm, I'm not sure how old were you. I was 15. Okay, so I was 11. He was 15. Um, so I will say how it happened. My mom, actually, Adrian had come out of my mom's room and said, "Hey, mom wants to talk to you." And I go in there, and mom told me that, you know simply right. they're gonna get divorced right. and I just burst into tears I felt like my whole world fell apart mm -hmm. um, I was very alone you know because after right. that happened I feel like my brother they kind of just drifted off by themselves and did their own thing and I was right. and I was you know a little kid by myself um, right. I tried like really hard to get them back together I would I don't know if you know this but I would make like a picture no. of them together and I would say like this is what marriage is supposed to look like and I would slip it under their door and 
It was so sad. It no, really was. was. Yeah, yeah, that's sad, um, but it's cute though. But um, what made me realize that maybe their divorce was for um, a good, like what was, I guess, good. Um, in some way, right? Yeah, in yeah, some yeah, way. Yeah. In school, me, mm -hmm. me and my um, other brother, we went to school, to high school at the same time. Right. And we had an essay to write about like something difficult we've gone through. Mm -hmm. And I wrote about our parents' divorce and I said like, right. they completely ruined our lives and all that stuff. And I read his essay, he wrote about the same thing. Mm -hmm. And he wrote, you know, that it was better for them to get divorced because they wouldn't be, you know, fighting around us or just kind of just showing us like their arguments, you right. know what I mean? So that completely made me like put in perspective, like okay, maybe it was a good reason for that divorce. Although it sucked, definitely. Right, right. You I know? mean, it definitely sucked. I mean, I think my, my dad and, and mom for that, you know, I really do thank them for that, to not really show us uh, so much of the ugly. Right. I don't agree with divorce, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I, me personally, I just don't. I feel like it's just better to work through it and get yeah, through it. definitely. The only valid reason in my eyes would be if someone is unfaithful, right? right. I totally believe in, in that uh, that a marriage is sacred between uh, the man and woman and God. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? So you made a vow to your wife, not only to your wife, but to God that you're going to stay with your wife, stick with your wife uh, through anything, and you guys are going to uh, try to keep a faithful uh, relationship built around you know what God teaches. For okay? sure. Saying that, you know it. Being unfaithful is one of the ways I, I feel that it's okay to just split, mm -hmm. you know, because that's what it teaches in, in the Bible. There are other reasons I feel, you know, that, pe that people should get divorced. I mean, if it's just really unhealthy, you know, you guys are, aren't really working out, you know, um, not communicating, just fighting constantly. You tried marriage counseling, you tried everything under the sun, and it's just not working out, right. you know. I think then, okay, fine. You tried everything. Go ahead and just split it. Right? So what I mean, you're saying is at least, at least give it a try. At least yeah, try exactly. everything you can. Exactly. I mean, it's kind of like anything, anything else, right? Like you go and you pick up a guitar, mm -hmm. you know, or let's say you go and you you, you want to play baseball, mm -hmm. right? Even even at our age, you know, if I wanted to go and pick up a guitar, it's like I have to practice and I have to keep practicing. I have right. to keep trying. I have to keep fighting for it. You know, if I just completely suck and like I, I can't play the guitar, mm -hmm. then okay, fine, I'll give up. Right. You know what I mean? And me and the guitar are not getting along. I mean, she's not, the guitar's not cooperating with me. You know what I mean? I just want to, you know, smash the guitar face in. Or we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna go before someone breaks. It's okay to have problems. It's okay to have issues. You know, you're gonna get through it. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it's. It's not always greener on the other side, but what you can do is you can take care of your grass where you're at right now and then grow it. You know what I mean? Take care of it. You know, nurture okay. it. You he know knows what, I mean? what he's talking about. I'm in it. I'm in it right now. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm in it. Guys, thanks to you guys for tuning in to Write On Films. Leave your comments below. Subscribe. Subscribe. Thumbs up. Love you guys. Positivity. We love you. Much love. We out. Just Bye, y'all.